Hello, my name is Anthony Barocas of Aiba Communications, and today we're going to be looking at attaching a an ENG servo zoom lens to a digital SLR, in this case a Panasonic GH2, and comparing it with the 14 to 140 zoom lens. First up, we'll see the Panasonic's 14 to 140 zoom lens. Slow zoom in. Starts out a little herky jerky because you don't exactly you have to overcome the friction and then uh, it doesn't maintain a steady pace all the way through the zoom range because the mechanics inside the lens are not even throughout the zoom range. In comparison, we'll go with the servo zoom. Uh, it's going to start smooth, ramp up faster in the middle, and then slow down smooth at the end, getting to the point, getting to the shot that we want to get to. Here's a different example. Uh, exterior, let's do a rear window type movie thing. We want to draw attention to that center lower window up there. Uh, we're using the still photography lens now, and it's still not as smooth as it could be. Uh, it's kind of drawing more attention to itself than it is to the window. And also as the lens goes through the zoom range, it internally compensates for the amount of light passing through it. So it's constantly opening the iris as it zooms through the range and stops. Now, in comparison, the external servo zoom lens is set at a particular f-stop, and once you start the motor at a certain rate of speed, it will continue at that rate of speed until you either stop or you run out of zoom range. In this case, it's a 16x lens, so it's going to go even further than the still photography lens that we were just using. Now here, the slow pace, the, the, the methodical nature the, of creeping in towards that bottom window draws tension to it. You're building tension. You're, you're making the viewer focus in on that center window. And you're like, oh, what's in that window? What, what are we going to? What, what is the, you know, what are we driving at here? The zoom is not drawing attention to itself. This is where servo zooms really pay off is, is by letting the viewer focus on what you're showing and not the mechanics of how you shot it. And because this isn't a, a horror movie, there's nobody actually in the window. But you can see how close uh, the zoom lens gets us there. And no change in the iris at all. 